Hey guys, Ryan Lutz here, and today I'm at the Futaba USA Corporation. I want to talk a little bit about my 7PX Limited Edition radio and some of my favorite features of it. So some things that I really like are when you go out and you're going to do your qualifier or your main and you're out there in your warm-up laps and the car doesn't feel quite right, it's like something, just the track changed a little bit and you just want to make it a little bit better. There's all these buttons here that you can program to make the car, just you can adjust it to make it the best out of what you have on the track at that moment to make the best of your qualifier. So some of my favorite features are from this dial here, the DL1 dial. I like to, on my nitro cars, make this my throttle curve. So if I go out there and the car is, say, a little uh, running on or it's a little lean on the bottom end, and it's like I'm just giving a little bit of throttle but it's kind of taken off, I can go negative on the throttle curve, just dial it back, and it makes it a little bit easier on the bottom end. Uh, for the electric car, since uh, we have a speed control and it never changes, I like to make this deal one be my steering curve. So say the track is too grippy, all of a sudden and you chose too soft of a tire and you're too twitchy, you can go negative on your steering curve, just dial it back really quick on that DL1 and make the car easier to drive on that condition. For Nitro, I love the timer. I put the start and stop right here and then I have the reset underneath and that allows me to time my runs and don't have to worry about the mechanic or what not doing it and then I can test my fuel mileage to make sure that I'm getting good mileage for the mains that are coming up so I know when I can do my pit stops. I like to do uh, steering speed and the turn and the return so I put these on the DT3 and the DT4 and so what that will do is, again, if the track, if the conditions get too grippy, if the track's just super high bite, your car's really twitchy, you can start dropping down your steering speed and that's your, your turn, and then you can do the return. So the turn, if it's a really aggressive track, I'll go as low as 80 to 85, and then on the return, I always leave it around 90. I want it to come back to center at a reasonable speed still. But those are some functions that can really make your car easier to drive if the conditions warrant it when you're on the track to make the most of your run in a given circumstance. So thanks for watching guys. This is Ryan Lutz, Otavio Say, 7 XLE. Yeah.